If an Irish Rip Van Winkle slept for a hundred times the legendary 20 years, he would find two things somewhat familiar. Rip Van Winkle slept for a hundred times the legendary 20 years, he would find two things somewhat familiar on his reawakening. The Gaelic language and hurling. They are now greatly changed, but their cure remains. Hurling is the Irish version of the ball and stick game known in many parts of the world. The hurl has long been made by felling an ash tree and shaping parts of it so that the roots act as blades. Today, the chainsaw is used as its tip cuts down at an angle into the roots. This is not possible with a handsaw. The ancient way of unselving a tree still persists. However, even into this intimate task, the machine is making its way. Liam Brett is the third generation to own and run inch sawmills. His son is the fourth. The grain running all the way down, yeah. round about that way. And so when you get it coming all the way straight and around about in the horseshoe shape, yeah. that's a good hurley because when you hit the ball, if it was straight, that piece would break off yeah. and all you had left was the straight bit then. Yeah. You'd be shouting for a hurley. <laughs> John uses the Cooper's mare, a medieval type of vice. He uses too the spoke shave another instrument long known to those who shave things with loving sensitivity. All right. Now do you see the grain? Mm -hmm. All the way down. Look. And round about. Kilkenny Town is the home of Ramey Dowling, maker of the well-known star hurley. His son Tom marks out a batch of hurls. They're made in six different sizes, from the 28-inch junior hurl for seven- and eight-year-olds up to the 38-inch senior hurl. It's in a way truly an art, like the bow makers of medieval times, vital to the warfare of their tribe. Ramey's wife, Breda, is the daughter of the late Tom Neary, the hurl maker, who started making hurls in 1921. This is the same job that John Surlis was doing on the Cooper's Mare, except Brian uses a bench stop. The tools are similar. Come on is the Gaelic word for a hurl. Its root is cow, the word that in several languages denotes bent or crooked. The original hurley may have been nothing more than a shepherd's crook. Today's hurl is the product of generations of experience and experimentation. And the experimentation goes on. Even the concept of a single piece of ash is no longer sacred. Some players, indeed, prefer a hurl with a segmented blade. The sanding machine has speeded up this part of the job. In the old days, a piece of broken glass was used to smooth the hurl.
band of metal also helps to strengthen the hurl. Brian Cody is another of today's young lions. He's Kilkenny's captain. His team are about to play Cork in the All-Ireland final. The prize is Hurling's Holy Grail. I took these two, how would that yeah, be? Yeah, that would do, grand Brian. That would oh, do, that's grand. Grand or As something. long as they're looking, that's the main thing. Hopefully they're two yeah. grand sticks. Today is the testing time for Brian Cody and his warriors, and for the hurl that Ramey Dowling and his sons wrought for them. Can Kenny meet Cork in Dublin's Croke Park for the All-Ireland Hurling Final? Brian's hurl proves to be lucky after all. <laughs>